Sometimes you have to work your abs standing to get that flat belly you want. So skip the crunches and grab a medicine ball, five to 15 pound free weight, or even a heavy book, and let's get you off the floor. All right, here we go. Make sure you have a little bit of resistance. This is gonna challenge you a little bit more for these standing abs. So I want you to hold that weight, whatever it is, medicine ball, heavy book, free weight. Let's start with a high knee sprint. So if you're not very advanced here, you could always do a skip, okay? But if you can, try to go every other step, bringing the foot up. So you can see you wanna pull your abs in tight. Your resistance is gonna make this harder, all right? So you're getting your heart rate up. You're working those abs, using the weight of your legs, using those lower abdominals. Come on, a couple more seconds. This is starting you off real quick, isn't it? Keep going, three, and two, and one. Awesome. Now, take that free weight. We're gonna go rainbow crunch. So, weight's over the head. You're gonna come over to the side, swing it to the other. Now, when you do this, really twist your torso. Pull your belly button in tight, back and forth. Bring it back and forth. Your arms are working a little bit here. But think about it coming from that torso. Bring that weight over. The heavier your weight, the more you're gonna feel it through your abs. Breathe. Big exertion all the way up. Over. You guys are looking good. Three, two, rainbow, and one. Now, wood chopper. So, we're gonna just crush the obliques here. So I want you to take that weight as you bring your knee up, I want you to come across the body. Whew. Little diagonal, notice how I pause? That's when it's hard. So bring it across, tighten those abs, Whew. and back. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Abs pulling tight, come on, squeeze. Lose your balance, that's okay. You're coming across, Whew. good. Last one here, and switch, oh yeah, up and across. Notice how my knee is coming straight, but I'm trying to twist. So I'm coming across and then up. Cross and then up. That upper twist is coming from my torso, not my hips. Up and down. Pull those abs in. You got it, come on, work it out. Just five minutes, this is a great compliment to any other workout. Now, figure eight. So we're gonna come around. Pretend as if you're in a kayak but you're standing. You guys all paddleboard, right? Have you ever paddleboarded? Well, this is what you work. Coming around, digging that paddle into the water and pushing your weight along. Keeping those arms along, back and forth. Really squeeze, pull those abs in tight. You're really working the obliques. You're getting the stretch and then you're getting the crunch. Come on, standing abs, so effective. Keep breathing it out. Couple more seconds. Three. Come on. Two. Oh, one. Excellent job. Okay. Now, we're going to go into a sumo squat with a little oblique crunch. So have your feet wide. This is important. You're going to go down for that squat. This weight is going to add a little bit of tension here. So you're going to lengthen. Bring that elbow down towards the knee. Come back up and switch. Woo. So here I like it because your legs are working a little bit too. But here, you really have to control the movement through your obliques, through your sides. So this is an excellent move. Really controlling, you're using some of your back as well. I love this move, it's really hard. Keep it working. If you gotta drop your weight, that's okay. That's a great way to modify. Breathe it out. Back and forth, you're doing awesome. Come on, a couple more seconds, don't quit on me now. Doing great. Good, pull that belly button in, don't let your belly. Loose it all. Constantly engaging the core. Back and forth, one more. Other side, oh. You saw me getting tired there. So set your weight down for this last one. Now, kickboxers have a six pack for a reason. All right, they're lifting their legs with their core. So here, we're gonna do a kick. So you're gonna lift that leg up and kick. Lift it and kick. Now, a lot of us might need to modify this. You could just lift your knee up. Think about lifting that knee up. Ah, look at that, those abs are gonna work. But if you can extend the leg too, that's even more weight. Come on, get into your box. 
flexing mode. Let's do it. I love standing abs, guys, because you're long, you're strong, and you're getting those muscles to really work. Doing good. Last couple. Last three, two, and one. Switch. Other side. Good. You don't really got to add that squat. And the more upright you can keep your posture, you know, I'm leaning a little bit because I'm tight a little bit in my hips, but really, you can just keep on kicking it back and forth. Give me two more. One, last one, two, and way to rock those standing abs. Bookmark this video and do it twice a week since having a tight core will help you in all your other fitness goals. Share this video with a friend and I'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.